Clinical trials in India are a $400 million opportunity for the pharma and clinical research companies. But a spate of recent deaths during clinical trials has brought out the darker side of this opportunity. More than 1,500 deaths have occurred in the last three years, raising the debate whether guidelines in India are equipped to, to prevent such abuse. Arshana Shukla reports. India, the clinical trial capital of the world. More than 1,500 drug trials, close to 40,000 patients enrolled. But there's another side to it. Data from Drug Controller General of India suggests there were 1,512 deaths between January 2008 and August 2010 during these trials. But only a few were reported to be drug-related and only a bare few have been compensated. A startling fact that made the regulator pull up nine pharma companies, summoning them to compensate these 25 patients who died in 2010 during drug trials by June 20th. Critics, however, say processes are not in place to protect interest of volunteers who take part in these trials. In India, there is no system of independent audit of deaths which take place in, uh, during clinical trial. Whatever investigators said, is accepted. Now, investigator is nothing but on the payroll of the pharmaceutical company. Human drug trials opened in India only in 2005 with certain regulations in place. A clinical trial registry which details all drug trials and a mandatory ethics committee which approves and oversees these trials. But a survey done by Indian Council of Medical Research in 2007 across 179 medical colleges that perform clinical trials found that only 40 of them had a fair and governing ethics committee. Besides, in case of a death during trial, there are no set guidelines on compensation, a fact that even clinical research organizations agree on. There are no guidelines for compensation of the subjects or compensation to the subjects for any serious adverse events taking place with the administration of the drug. For the pharma industry, India offers a huge opportunity at just one-fifth the cost as compared to developed countries. Add to that a large patient population in areas of cancer, infectious diseases and diabetes. But in absence of proper guidelines and strict implementation, it may just prove to be a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. In Mumbai, Arjuna Shukla, NDTV Profit. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.